the India's economy has passed through one of its most trying times ever, having a far-reaching impact on the lives and livelihood of 1.4 billion people that face the massive pandemic and lockdown restriction. The first time when the Prime Minister imposed the nationwide lockdown in March 2020, the first cabinet minister to hold the press conference, the finance ministry, that showed the importance of the finance ministry to handle the upcoming situation then when it was first imposed. The entire responsibility on the finance ministry shoulder to maintain the economy, to sustain the economic growth and the entire country was eagerly waiting for the government thought process that the, how this economy allowed to take these challenges and how to overcome these challenges during this pandemic situation and that's an important task that the finance ministry would forfeit to and that's the important agenda for the ministry to maintain the country's economic growth and prevent those collapses during this lockdown period and we saw that many industry, many sector has been hampered badly and resulted a menace conditions from this situation but every industry will not face the same kind of situations they have some resilient infrastructure and support also from the sector that are quickly evolved to the a new form of growth level and I create a new opportunities in the form of Arthony or Bharat and many other important stimulus package that the government has provided on that time on that time and that we can say that 1.15 crore MSMEs that have been have those benefit that the sanction of 1.85 lakh crore 80 crore of Indians with the monthly food grade entitlement they got and the 6.2 lakh crore stimulus package after the second wave of pandemic has came in India and that's an important result and estimate during those pandemic situations that how to revert, I mean tackle those situations in a very crucial manner. The purpose of this 20 lakh crore Atmu Nirbhar Bharat package to boost the economy and to reverse the impact of the lockdown on the already flowing economic conditions and that explain the details of those package in a series of press brief and that's also the second and third legs of Atmu Nirbhar package that is in October and November last year. The long process that put the economy back on track that has started in the earnest time that drives the Indian economy and prevent the slowdown in the Indian economic sector and the next focus was on rescuing the micro, small and medium enterprises, what we call in the short term as MSME sector. It is the impact most in the impacted during the lockdown and Government launches those important schemes that emergency credit line guarantee scheme that the Arpanito package will provide under that package and that will help over 1.15 crore businesses that meet those operational costs that support those operational costs and restart the businesses amid those disruptions and the slowdown during this pandemic. The pandemic and this coronavirus has smashed the healthcare infrastructure all over the world and it also hampered the global e economy that engulfed those global economy and India's position was even more vulnerable. Its economy had started slowing down way back in financial year 2016 from a peak of 8.2% in financial year 2016 the GDP growth had come down to 6.8% in 
in 2019 and touch a low of 4% in financial year 2020. That's a positive scenario. That's a fact that we have to admire that this pandemic slowdown that's a double attack in India's economy and that's important factor that we have to handle those situations and come back strongly that boost the economy and India's dream ambitious project of ambitions of five trillion dollar US five trillion US dollar economy by twenty twenty five. That's an important aspect of this proposed project and those Yojana that government has implemented to fulfill those dream gain those economic initially one when those one lab tested those result and that become an epicenter of this pandemic which spread to over twenty countries later and then that disease came to India at the end of January twenty twenty and that culminating in an unprecedented lockdown situation and that leading to the massive decimation of those economic and that under the heavy weight of the pandemic and the lockdown the Indian growth rate further decreased and that's a terrific scenario that GDP contracted 24% in quote first quarter of financial year 2021 and 7.3% in the entire financial year during this lockdown. The relief and stimulus measures by the finance ministry to economic grew later gradually in this financial year 2022 first quarter. And that's how the important of some estimated results have shown that the economic boost is very much required, and the stimulus package and some important steps that, and as a form of policy, to regain this economic projection I and mean growth projections, and the ease of doing business is also an important parameter. That's also a scenario that the initiative has been. We stand out in terms of wide ranging of impact. It increased the speed of income tax and the pandemic, the reform that has moved many situations in a society that is very easy to handle, very easy for the reform sector, for the taxpayer that are involved at the time and 2021 will also go down in the history as well. India finally have cleared those tremendous effect of retrospective tax demand. The major economy is India's condition, and there is no doubt that the period since the onset of the pandemic, and it is a turmoil for the Indian economy, the life threatening conditions for every Indian, every citizen, and there is a tremendous panic and tension all around the world during, regarding this pandemic, this virus, viral effect, and that is affecting the public life, and especially. For those in charge of the country's economic policy, uh, that the important factor is that they have faced that the over 100 crore vaccine doses that are implemented on that kind of situation, and that is very much important to get back to the normal condition as soon as possible, since the vaccination is the ultimate way to prevent. These pandemic situations. We hope for the better economic prospect for India, and they are going to be an important role in economic perspective in South Asian nation, and India could become a Asian superpower, South Asian superpower in the next ten to fifteen years. And for that, those packages is very much important. Those stimulus are very much important, and right direction, right process, and those. Economic decision can make India a superpower in the next 15 years, and we hope for the best. We look for the better, best result that will drive the economy in a better way in future. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.